Hey cuties, Peachy here. Welcome back to a new video. And in this video, I'm going to be reviewing all 13 new Disney princesses uh, the dolls made by Mattel. They are new for this year. Uh, it's the budget versions which have the molded on tops, which I personally do not hate. We'll get into that later. Uh, but uh, yeah, I paid up around 200 <laughs> which is a lot of money um i bought the big uh ultimate uh pack which includes all 13 right away i didn't get them separately i just uh i just this big one this big pack the like ultimate sparkle uh collection whatever i don't even know if that like has a name i believe the hasbro one uh which i will also do a comparison by the way uh between the hasbro sparkle collection with the molded on tops uh and these dolls um they had a they had a name like royal royal shimmer or something i believe um i got those individually and i actually made a, a three-part video review series um that i think went over really well a lot of y'all really like the those reviews so I hope uh, that those same people will also like this uh, review. So um, I will make a comparison between those dolls. And uh, yeah, so I, I think uh, these at this multi multi pack, I just it was the first thing that was available with these dolls. And I wanted to get these as soon as possible. Uh, and this was back in, I want to say late January, I think uh, when I got my paycheck in January I bought this as soon as possible um and I yeah I think it maybe it got more expensive but um I think I want to say it was less than 200 but it was definitely around that uh price mark so it, it is kind of expensive and uh individually they cost around 14 euros which I bought I bought this on Amazon Germany by the way uh and it costs around 14 euros each individually uh and even if they cost 15 in individually they wouldn't have amounted to 200 altogether so and it's 13 princess princesses and in this um, lineup with Mattel instead of just 12 because they included Raya. So that is different. But anyways, let's get into the review and comparison. Okay, so it's been a couple weeks. I want to say it's been a hot second uh, and I've already unboxed all the dolls and I've actually reused this box in the space to also include my Hasbro princess dolls. So you'll see in a second how I have them set up with like little drawers. Uh, and here we go. So this is the first level let me see if i can pull it out okay so here we are so let's get into uh, each princess individually uh, for a closer look and also the comparison uh between each one except for raya i didn't get her it's because she wasn't part of the original lineup starting so. off with raya from raya and the last dragon because i don't have a second one to compare her to so she is wearing these olive green pants that have some printing down the front we have um, some brown boots here with some nice molded on details. Her pants are about calf length and they do open, uh, they actually don't open, it's just an elastic band. You can pull them down and it's all brown here. Her torso like a bathing suit. We have some more molded on details here for her belt. And the middle section here is yellow translucent. No sparkles though, no glitter that's unique to her. It follows onto her shoulders. And then her face up. She has a really gorgeous face up. It's not too pixelated. And her hair is really nice and smooth and, and soft. It's black and not too long. It goes about past her bum. Uh, and it's a little bit wavy. And it's like decently rooted. So I really like it. She's really cute. Moving on to Miss Snow White. We can see a difference here on the face already. She has bigger eyes. She has smaller eyes. Um, and she has a bigger smile than her. But she has more blush. So very interesting. The hair, very similar length. But I actually combed hers out and it looks really pretty. The rooting is very decent on both of them. Uh, and she wears a bow instead of a tiara and she wears a tiara instead of a bow. The torso um, here, obviously, it's a gem effect. We have no glitter, some painted details here with the swirl, the apple, and here it's a bow instead of an apple and no painted on details on the actual top. We have the back here, very similar as well. And the sleeves, here we can see the red portions are actually molded into the top sleeves and here they're just, uh, you know, printed on. Uh, and then the skirts, we have a lot of, you know, this is paper basically, uh, and this is actual fabric. There's no glitter here, that's just how the material looks like, it's just very shiny. And here we do have a lot of shedding with the glitter um, and a uh, very similar height for the dolls as well. Here are the shoes, 
yellow from a towel and very clear for a Hasbro. Now for Mulan up next, she looks completely different because they chose two completely different outfits. Hasbro has her in her matchmaker look, her pink look, and then Mattel has her in her village look. So they do have two pieces, two head pieces on top. For her, it's her pink comb, and for her, it's a yellow headband with a flower on one side. Her hair is loose, and her hair is in a ponytail. They're both the same length, I would say. And then here is the look at the back of the torsos, also very similar. The face-ups don't change too much. I feel like maybe it's just the blushing here and the eye Rose in the eye shape, but I definitely prefer hers more. They do share two similarities. One of them is the middle portion here for both of them is in a blue here with the sparkles here and in the gem version here. They do have some painted details and then the skirts are pink and yellow. We have some patterns here as well. Maybe you can see them. And the other commonality that they have is their shoes. They're basically wearing the same shoes with a flower on a tip. Um, but for her, it's just she's in a heeled position. So next up, we have Princess Jasmine. And she actually looks pretty much the same with the, uh, the headband being the same just maybe a little bit larger for Hasbro, um, in a deeper blue, and hers is more turquoise, like green. Um, the face-up, uh, very different. Uh, hers is more cartoony, definitely, um, and her lip is also more red, and hers is more like the actual Jasmine. It's more like subdued. I like the little, you know, eyeliner here, uh, and she has more of like a natural brown lipstick. Not too much blushing, uh, which she does have too much blushing, I guess. <laughs> the hair, basically the same, uh, very similar lengths uh, and texture. And then the uh, molded on tops, also very similar. They both have the uh, you know sleeve portion drooping down uh, and the middle portion, they also have a gem. Here, the gems for her are colored in a yellow. For her, it's actually gold. So that's like the biggest difference. And then also the, um, the portion here in the middle is larger for the uh, translucent plastic and for her the gem part is smaller then the pants they both have some over skirts here on the top um maybe hers is a little bit longer and bigger and then the pants uh the pants are really the same though like the pants literally the same uh same length same flare uh, and then the shoes, once again, she is in a heeled position, but the actual shoe design is the same and the plastic is also the same, like it's just the same gold uh, material. And then the back, actually, I forgot to show y'all. The back is also very similar. So this is what they look like. And yeah, I think they look really, uh, she, she has like the, she has probably like the most seamless transition, honestly, like she looks really good. Next up, we have my favorite princess, totally not just because she's pink. <laughs> we have Princess Aurora. Uh, I love the expression, how they change it. She looks really nice here to face up. But here, I like it because she has a side glance, which is very unique to her. The bangs, very, very similar here. But for her, they're very basic. For her, they actually came very messed up. So I had to put a rubber band, rubber band around her face to keep them at bay. The tiara is very similar. The hair, I only like combed her hair out and it looks so nice, so pretty. And it it's not too long, but her hair uh, is uh, very long. Uh, like if you can see, the hair length is pretty drastic. Like it's very longer. Uh, here's also the back of the torso since we're here. And then the tops, here she has a white up here. For her, it's very subtle, but it's more of like a light pink. The crowns are also a little bit different. And she also has some swirls here painted for both torsos. And the dress here is a darker pink, lighter pink. And then she does have the added fit fabric, layer of fabric here for the little, you know, spikes. Um, here they are smaller and here they are larger. And then of course, lastly, we have her shoes, which are very similar once again for her. It, it's lighter pink and for her it's just darker pink but they both have a rose on their tippy toes next up we have beauty and the beast Belle, and she does look very different the eyes are actually bigger on mattel's doll uh, we do get to see some blush finally um which is very subtle she's smiling with her mouth open and she's also looking to the side and her eyes seem to be more green um and she has uh, i think a smaller mouth the hairstyle is very 
very similar. Uh, the hair color might be different. I'm sensing more of a red undertone here and here it's more of like a yellow undertone. Um, and the hair length is basically uh, the same, I wanna say. And here is the back of the torsos. Uh, I think hers is more softer. Yeah, it's softer for Mattel's hair. Uh, and for her, it's just kind of like, you know, it's like very cheap hair. <laughs> um, the I will say though, the updo for Mattel's version is messy. It looks messy, it's all disheveled, um, but for Hasbro, it actually looks uh, kind of neat. So that looks kind of messy. <laughs> the tiara is uh, very similar. Uh, it's just a darker red, I think, here, and it's just more of a pink red here. Um, the top has a same design here with the shoulders, the little, you know, sleeves that droop down. We have actually a rose here in pink for her, and we just have some painted um, dots here in the middle for her. Some swirls for Mattel, and we have some painted on swirls for Hasbro as well. Uh, she even has some roses here on the bottom of her torso, and she does have some added fabric. The design here, the pattern is different. There's like three portions and for her, it's actually kind of like ruffled in the center. So it looks really nice. Um, then the dress, the actual skirt, again, very similar uh, with the color. I mean, obviously they look different. <laughs> um, and then the shoes are very similar. They both have, um, hang on, they both have roses. Once again, on their tippy toes. Uh, but I think Mattel's uh, Mattel's version is darker yellow. It's like a darker yellow, and for Hasbro, it's a lighter yellow. Next up, we have Rapunzel, and I think they look very similar. It's just the expression that really changes a lot, and maybe the head shape. Uh, they both have freckles and blushing. It's just she has a raised eyebrow and more of a uh, thicker eyelashes, I think. Um, the tiaras are very similar. Hers is more translucent and hers is more opaque. And then the hair length, they both have very long hair, but I think Mattel's hair is longer by a bit. Um, and then the hair texture, hers is very straight and like light blonde and hers is a darker mixture of blondes, warmer blondes, and it's just a little bit wavy. Uh, here is the back of the torsos not much to look at. And then we can see the front of the torsos. They both have some painted on details here on the laced up portion. And the sleeves are different here. They're bigger, rounder, here they're smaller. And uh, these might even be the same uh, molded uh, uh, arms that they used for Snow White since they have very similar puffed up sleeves. Um, then the dress, the skirt, uh, very similar shade of purple and they're both shorter. Uh, I think hers is, yeah, hers is shorter, hers is longer. And then the heels, um, the heels are also very similar, but they do change in the shades of purple that they're in as well. So for her, Mattel, we have a almost like purple pink, a very unique and then a bow and then for her it's like more translucent and also a little bow on the tippy toes next up we have tiana and look at the glow up so i love the face it looks more realistic here the nude lip the subdued uh blushing for her it's more like obvious the blushing and she has a red lipstick she even has a little curl here on the front which i love it adds so much personality then the tiaras are very similar but hers is brighter in green her hair is all straight in a bun and hers is also in a bun but she has more texture which i love then the torso is very similar in design we have a painted portion in the middle and then we also have some painted little lily pads in the corner and then for the actual uh, skirt the overlayer of extra fabric is different we have uh, two patterns here for hasbro that meet in the middle and then for mattel it's the uh, little individual uh, petal-like uh, ruffles that go down. I'm actually not sure which one is more accurate to the movie, but it might be a combination of these two. It might be hers actually, but she looks really cute too. Uh, the actual skirt is dark green and for her it's like a really light green. Um, and then the heels also look very similar. Look, she has an opening there on the tippy toes and then um, she has uh, also a little bow on has or no it's a flower okay yeah so it's very similar both flowers and uh both 
have a lot of details. Moving on, we have Merida, and I don't like her expression. I definitely prefer hers. It's just more brave to me with the smirk, uh, but I do like her natural eyebrows and the freckles going more uh, onto her forehead, if you can see. It's very subtle, but it's very nice. Uh, the headband's very similar. The hair, very similar hair texture, but um, the hair shades might be darker for Hasbro. The torso looks basically the same design wise just more painted on here for her um the sleeves are longer for mattel and shorter for hasbro and she has more of like a greener hue to her you know torso and skirt hers is more blue uh the belt it's painted more here like yellow and for her it's more like gold chromatic uh, and then the skirt is shorter for hasbro and longer for mattel and then here we have the shoes oh and also the back of the torso in case you were wondering so they both follow on with the paint job here for the belt which is nice next we have cindy cinderella and i think the face up looks pretty much the same i just think she probably has a warmer skin tone it looks like um the hairstyle is basically the same as well we have a side portion here and then her top bun but the way they did it looks really bad on mattel and on hasbro it looks really tidy so i definitely prefer uh this hairdo uh she's wearing a tiara and blue and she has her good old headband on instead and in the torso uh, she has the modern new sleeves for Cinderella that kind of droop down and then she has the traditional poofy sleeves the torso looks really nice with some painted on details for both versions then we have some extra fabric here on the top we have two panels on each side here it is on the back oh and here is the top of the the back of the torso i like the little texture here with the quilt <laughs> it looks really nice and then these skirts um i definitely prefer uh this skirt even though it's like less uh movie accurate technically because it used to be more of like a silver blue um but she has some patterns here as well and then the shoes actually hasbro's shoes are more of a glass looking slipper since they look more translucent and for Mattel they're more blue and they have a heart and uh, she has a heart and she has I think a bow. Next we have Pocahontas and I think the biggest difference in the face is the eyes. Her eyes were much bigger and her eyes are much more smaller. I think the overall face up works for her much better. Um, then the hair is basically the same, both straight and both very similar lengths, um, but the actual thickness, I think hers is thicker. Um, they gave her her iconic necklace and then they gave her the little headband here with also a little uh, gem so really cute and then the torso they have an as asymmetrical uh you know cut going up to one sleeve and then we have some painted on details with the frills here in blue and then for her it's just this little one uh this one little um blue feather going down we do have some blue detail here on the bottom as well that does it does follow through on the back for both of them which is really nice. So at least there's that. And then these skirts are very similar in design. They both have a fringe on the bottom and then the shoes are very different here as well. She has some cute ass boots. I really love these boots. Honestly, personally, I love these more. Uh, no heel though, but I just love them. I just think they look cute. And then for her, they gave her some cute little um, smaller boots. Next, we have Moana. And I think the biggest difference is her height difference. So Mattel's Moana is very much taller than uh, Hasbro's Moana. Also the body build, like the, um, the she has broader shoulders on Hasbro's doll. And then she has more like a narrow sculpt here on Mattel. So very interesting how they changed that up. Um, otherwise, the face up is basically the same. She has a side glance, she has a crown, she has a headband, hair, very similar hair texture, hair color, and also length. And they both have their iconic necklaces as well. The tops are very similar. We have some painted on details here in beige going down. And then we do have some more details here on the back. Let's see. Yeah, almost like the same kind of details. And then the skirts, basically they use the same print, but it's just a different material. Here it's just more papery and uh, there's no frills. There's no like, uh, there's no cut fringe, but here there is a fringe which I do appreciate. And the finish here is no, there's no glitter actually, it's just a finish of the actual skirt. 
So yeah, and she's barefoot, so yeah. And we've made it. We're down to the last princess, and can you guess who it is? It is Princess Ariel. So yes, probably the one with the biggest drastic um, difference in face up. I mean, look at that improvement. Um, it's just naughty. It's just the eyebrows. Like, why does she look so surprised? What is what is going on here? And then a lipstick, just much more fittingly. It's red. It's not just some kind of like awkward nude pink. Um, I much prefer this face up, and uh, it just she just looks like Ariel. It looks like Ariel. And uh, she also has more of a tan here, different skin tone as well. She's more pale. Um, so then the crown actually looks very different. So the crown, they both have seashells, but basically the crowns have bigger seashells on Mattel's Ariel. And then the hair, uh, I want to say the hair is more vibrant on Mattel's Ariel and on Hasbro it's more like not as bright. <laughs> um, very similar hair length. Uh, and she definitely has more hair and hers is more, um, it's, it's not as thick, uh, but it is kind of, I don't know. It's like a different hair type. They, they definitely, they definitely have different hair types. These two, uh, but they both, uh, look really nice. And then the torso here, uh, for her, it's much more green and she has more of like a blue hue undertone. So it's very interesting. The sleeves, she has the off the shoulder sleeves. She has the poofy sleeves. Um, we have both seashells and purple, but hers is bigger. Uh, and then we have some uh, molding here on the bottom. The skirts, again, more green, more blue. And uh, some patterns here with flounder. Where is he flounder? There we go, there he is. Um, and then the shoes, uh, both purple. Oh no, actually, she has purple and she has blue. So there we go, it's like both seashell themed. And then the back, I forgot to show y'all. Here's the back of her torso. So yeah, I think she had the best glow up. She just looks so pretty. I mean, look at her, I mean, Come on, that's Ariel, undeniable. And that was my review of all 13 new Disney princesses made by Mattel. And also the comparison of both collections made by Hasbro and Mattel. So what do I think? I think these are some solid budget dolls, again, painted on tops. They're just starting out with these new Disney princess dolls, Mattel. They said they were going to make some designers, designer dolls for um, higher prices in the future. So that they, they will make more higher end, you know, dolls for sure. These are just the starting out, you know, budget dolls that we always get with toy companies that have molded on top. And I would still have to agree. I really don't mind the molded on tops. I think these sparkly finish with the translucent plastic, like I know what I bought when I got these. And that's what I received. I didn't ask for more. I didn't want more articulation. I didn't want like a full on gown. I just want a basic doll of every princess. And that's what I have. And I am satisfied. I'm happy. I mean, why else would I get the, literally like I have two collections now of uh, the same Disney princesses, but from different toy companies. Just to me, I just, I love looking at them, seeing the differences. It's just fascinating to me to see how toy companies, you know, what they value and what they put the budget into, into some areas and some other areas for the other dolls. Like I just, to me, it's fascinating. I love the whole process. And I just, I also like the molded on tops. I like the sparkly finish. I like the gem finish that the Hasbro ones had. Um, but that's obviously, I'm aware that that's a very, niche i'm a very i'm a minority like a lot of people will just think these are cheap um and they're nothing but to me like i i just see them for what they are and i and i like it i really do i think they're beautiful the face-ups i mean we can all agree that they did an excellent job with the face-ups and the printing it's a little bit you know pixelated but you know it's not too noticeable and i think the overall proportions uh, is way better than the Hasbro one. And then, so. of course, the other noticeable difference besides the face step and the proportions is the skirts. The skirts on the Mattel dolls, you can actually call them fabric. You can call them like their actual fabric skirts on the Hasbro ones. It's basically paper. It's not It's not a good material. 100%, I think the Mattel dolls just win. The face ups, the proportions, the skirts, just they also feel like more like the actual princesses. The, the Hasbro ones, I love the Hasbro ones. Uh, again, I, I like them they're unique but they're more cartoony these new ha these new mattel ones definitely feel more like your disney princess you know like they're not cartoony they're more realistic and 
they're just more um, accurate to the characters. If anything, people will buy these dolls because of the face-ups. They're just so accurate and on point. And I've seen a ton of customization dolls, customized dolls on made to move bodies. So these dolls will do probably better than the Hasbro ones in the long run. But what are your thoughts on these new Mattel Disney Princess dolls? Let me know down below. I hope y'all enjoyed. Leave a like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you haven't already so you don't miss out when I post more content like this coming your way daily and keeping you up to date with all the dolty you love. Stay safe, be kind. I hope this next time. Stay peachy. Kisses.